peekaboo. It's nice boy news. <laughs> Welcome back to Nice Boy News. I'm Nice Boy. I'm so excited this week because we have not one, but two incredible stories of people recovering from cancer. Almost the best thing you can hope for in a situation like that. Jonathan Castro posted to his Facebook that his wife, Erica, just had her last day of chemo treatment. Erica was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma stage one right after her and John got married in November of 2016. They decided that because it was stage one to wait and try dieting and other natural remedies, and her symptoms subsided and remained stage one until December of 2020. She gave birth to their son, Nate, in mid-February of this year, and about two to three weeks later, she started a six-month bi-weekly chemo session. Jonathan shared that after Erica's final day of chemo treatment, he felt a huge weight lift from his shoulders, and they all celebrated together as a family getting past one of the hardest things they've ever gone through. He wanted to thank his extended family for flying out and taking care of the kids. And he said that we're extremely happy and blessed to continue doing life with each other, which I think is just the greatest. He said, God has gotten us through a very challenging time, and we are so excited to see what's next for our family. Jonathan, that is an amazing story. I'm so happy for you guys. I don't have anything funny to add because that's just beautiful. Daniela Musano shared that she got to celebrate with her friend Melissa, who is also now cancer-free. Daniela said she used to work with Melissa in the 90s when Melissa owned a skate shop clothing store, already one of the coolest people ever. She said she's so easy to love. She's a great friend and always so supportive. Melissa was diagnosed with endometrial cancer in July of 2020. She had several operations and went through chemo, but Daniela said she took the chemo with such grace. Daniela planned the surprise party with 16 of Melissa's closest family and friends. And Melissa said she was totally surprised, blessed, and thankful for the friends who supported me this year. They say I'm a warrior, but I'm only as strong as those standing beside me. What a great surprise after a tough year. With the support of my friends and family, I made it through. Thanks for my surprise, Daniela. Big love. That's... What more can you say? Other than... F*** cancer! Amanda Agresti, one of the happiest people I know, is celebrating her birthday in the happiest place on earth. Disney World. Amanda, her husband Matt, and their three boys all went down to Disney for a 10-day extravaganza of Disney greatness. Take a look at some of these pictures. They look like they are having the absolute best time on Earth. Amanda shared a couple of quotes from her youngest son, Jonah, who is experiencing Disney World for the first time. She said, on multiple occasions, he would say, the happy tears are coming. They're not sure where he got that expression. Also, on their last day there, he said, I'm not crying, but my dreams are broken. (laughs) It looks like such a great time. She also said the the new Millennium Falcon ride is pretty incredible, but I've been to Disney. I haven't been on that ride. She sent me a video. Joey, can we pull that up? That is the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. Babe, 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 can we go to Disney? Ugh. That sound means it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Negative Nelly News. Nelly, over to you. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, yep, thanks. Oh, from, from Nelly, addressed to our uh, producer. Brandon, I'm not doing Negative Nelly this week. It feels like someone hurled several grenades down my throat. Love, Negative Nelly. Okay, we hope you feel better, Nelly. Jim Goralski and his daughter are in the midst of an epic cross-country road trip. We actually go now live to Jim and Katie, who are coming to us from that very trip. Today has been an amazing day in, in Moab, Utah. I was able to do something that I've been waiting over 20 years to do, which is to, to mountain bike through Moab. And I got to do it with, with my daughter. And it was just awesome. Yeah, and the greatest part about this is we're not stopping. We're going on to see Zion, which is a place that I've really wanted to go to. And then we're headed off so I can go to college. So it's really a super exciting time. Just so much adventure. So much adventure packed into one week. So remember, it's super important that if you are visiting a national park, that you have to listen to your park rangers and stay on the trail so you don't hurt any of the nature around you. Be a nice boy to nature. Be a nice boy to nature. So back to you, sir. 
Thank you so much, Jim and Katie. That looks like an incredible time. And Jim, I imagine mountain biking up Moab gave you Moabs. <laughs> Stephalez spent a week with her family at the Jersey Shore. This was especially exciting because it was the first time she's been there since she was a kid. And it was her son's first time there ever. And he got to experience it with his great grandmother. Steph said that one of their best memories of this trip was guarding their food from seagulls on the beach. I remember a time I was hanging out with a bunch of dudes and we tried to catch a seagull alive. We were unsuccessful. It's time for our brand new segment, Big Rick's Big Baby. Whoa, that's a big baby. Rick and his wife Kim celebrated the birth of their son, Lucas, this week. Eight pounds, seven ounces, and 20 and a quarter inches long. Welcome to the world, little man. I do just want to emphasize how cool this baby's name is. Lucas Blaze Pacman. Listen to it again. Listen to the music in it. Lucas Blaze Pacman. That kid's either going to be a professional wrestler or the president. Before we go this week, I just want to remind everyone that we are now on Facebook and Instagram officially at Nice Boy News. So make sure you look us up and give us a follow. Thank you so much for watching. And remember... Be sweet to each other. I love you.